In this video, we're going to look at the concept of gases and solutions for chemistry. And we're basically going to look at how to do calculations involving gases and solutions for chemistry. So ensure you stay to the very end of this video, where this is an important aspect of chemistry calculation as well. Okay, having known that, let's go into the details of the video. Okay, so in this video, we are considering the concept of gases and solutions okay now let's begin by knowing how to find the volume of a known mass of any gas at room temperature now note that at room temperature and pressure one mole of any gas occupies 24 dm cube 24 dm cube okay so basically this is a formula you can apply to find the volume of a known mass of any gas at room temperature. We have it to be volume. Let me write it here. Volume of gas equals so mass of gas all right over you will see formula mass of gas okay times one mole of gas occupied which is what 24 over one so remember i said that one mole of any gas occupies 24 dm cube at room temperature and pressure all right now let's start a typical question of this and see how we can apply this formula to it to solve it so let me get a question okay guys so let's look at this question it says what is the volume of 319.5 gram of chlorine at room temperature and pressure all right so this is chlorine gas okay so to find the volume of this gas at room temperature and pressure we're going to apply this formula we have here okay so we have the mass of chlorine gas to be 300 and 19.5 over now the relative formula mass of chlorine gas remember this is chlorine gas so it will be we have the relative atomic mass of chlorine to be 35.5 all right so the relative formula mass will be we add the relative atomic mass of the atoms so the relative formula mass will be 35.5 okay times two since we have two atoms of chlorine here so 35.5 times two will give us 71 gram per mole okay so we're going to have 319.5 over 71 times now one more of gas occupied which is 24 over one all right so let me point this on my calculator and see what it's going to give me okay so when you point everything together we're going to have the output to be 108 dm3 okay so this will be the answer to this question note that the unit of the volume is usually in dm3 not cm3 okay so that's it for how to find the volume of any known mass of gas at room temperature and pressure okay now let's wipe this and look at how to calculate the volume of gases in reactions very important let's wipe this okay so now we are now looking at volume of gases in reactions volume of gases and reactions okay so volumes now let's look at this typical example to use it to explain how you can calculate volume of gases in reactions just know that for reactions between gases you can use the volume of one gas to find the volume of the other gas all right so let's look at this example okay guys now let's look at this question it says how much carbon dioxide is formed when 30 
DN cube of oxygen reacts with carbon monoxide. So we have the chemical reaction to be this. All right. Now remember, in calculating volumes of gases in reactions, we can use the volume of one gas to find the volume of another gas. So in this reaction, we have one mole of oxygen. Of oxygen gas reacted with carbon monoxide to give two moles of carbon dioxide. Okay, now this number of moles is equal to one volume of oxygen gas. So you can see that one volume. Okay, of oxygen gas reacted to give two volumes. This is two of carbon dioxide. Okay, now the person is saying that we should find how much carbon dioxide is formed when that TDN cube of oxygen reacts with carbon monoxide. Okay, now this time I want. 30 dm cube okay of oxygen gas reacted so we are asked how much carbon dioxide will be formed we don't know it that's how much volume of carbon dioxide will be formed when 30 dm cube of oxygen reacts with carbon monoxide this is simple mathematics you can call this unknown your x so when you cross multiply you're going to have x will be now 30 dm cube times 2 30 times 2 which will give us what 60 dm cube all right now this shows us that 60 dm cube that 60 volume of carbon dioxide will be formed when 30 dm cube that's that volume of oxygen reacts with carbon monoxide. All right, so this is basically how I can deal with this kind of problem. You can use the volume of one gas to find the volume of another word gas. It's as simple as that, guys. Now, let's look at how you can calculate the concentration of a solution in gram per dm cube. Very, very important. How you can calculate the concentration of a solution in gram per dm cube. Okay, now let's write this and look at the concepts okay so we're looking at how you can calculate concentration of a solution in gram per dm cube all right now note that when concentration is in gram per dm cube this is a formula you can apply okay for it concentration equals mass of solutes over volume of solvent okay now note again that concentration can be a mole per dm cube all right now this time i want when concentration is in mole per dm cube you can apply this formula concentration equals number of moles of solute over volume of solvent okay so take note of these respective formulas for when concentration is in gram per dm cube and in mole per dm cube. Note again that concentration is a measure of how crowded things are. All right, now let's look at a typical question or let's look at questions on how we can apply each of these formulas we have here. Let me bring this question. Okay, guys, let's look at this question. It says, What is the concentration in gram per dm cube of a solution of sodium chloride? We have 30 
gram of sodium chloride is dissolved in 0.2 dm cube of water. All right, so remember, we're going to apply this formula concentration equals mass of solutes over volume of solvent. So, our mass of solutes, sodium chloride, which is starting over volume of solvent is 0 0.2. All right, so when you simplify this, when you punch it in a calculator, you're going to have it to be 150 gram per dm cube. All right, so this will be the answer to this question. It's as simple as that. Now, let's look at one more question that involves concentration in mole per dm cube, and after it, we can call it a class. Let's write this. Okay, guys, let's look at this last question for this video. It says, what is the concentration in mole per dm cube of a solution with two moles of salt and 500 cm cube? All right. So remember, we're going to apply this formula concentration equals number of moles of solute, number of moles of solute over volume of solvent all right now we have the number of moles to be two so this will be two over now the volume here is 500 cm cube we need to convert this 500 cm cube to dm cube all right because the unit here is mole per dm cube okay so to convert 500 cm cube to dm cube all you have to do is to divide 500 by 1000 so 500 divide by 1000 all right so you're going to have the output 5 into this and 1 5 into this 2 so you're going to have it to be half or 0 0.5 so this is 0 0.5 dm cube now when you bring it here to be 2 by 0 0.5 so when you simplify this, we are going to have it to be 4 moles per dm cube. Alright, so this will be our answer. This is basically how you can deal with problems involving gases and solutions. We looked at how to calculate the volume of any known mass of gas at room temperature and pressure. We also looked at how to calculate the volume of gases in reactions and lastly we look at how to calculate the concentration of a solution in gram per dm cube or mole per dm cube for chemistry hope you learned something interesting from this video now if you are new to the channel ensure you check the description of this video below you see link to our telegram channel click on it and join the telegram channel for instant notifications also ensure that you are subscribed to this channel by hitting the subscribe button for more videos like this like share and comment on this video them how you feel from what you have learned from this class. If you seem to have any specific questions to ask regarding this topic for chemistry, feel free to your question in the comment section below and I'll ensure to give you a response. Okay, now click on the end screen above and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.